Right. So if you have read and understood, considering it surgical and optimization, kindly tell me how many types of salivary glands there are in human. Uh, we have the major and minor salivary glands. The yes. major are the parotid, submandibular, and the sublingual glands. Yes. The minors we have many hundreds. Okay. Can you tell me about the parotid gland, uh, the surface anatomy? Yes, the parotid gland, uh, uh, it has three borders. The upper upper, upper end of the upper border, it is uh, uh, it joins the two point. One point, the head of the mandible, the another point at the muscle process. This is a curve, curve line with concavity facing upward. The anterior border, <clears throat> the line joining the mandible head and the midpoint of the posterior border of the masseter and the line two centimeter below and behind the angle of the mandible. And okay. then the posterior border joining the mustard process and the two, two centimeter below and behind the mandible. Okay, can you please tell me where uh, the surface anatomy of the parotid duct? Uh, yes, parotid duct, it, uh, it is the middle third of the point of the line joining two points, the intertragic notch and uh, the middle of the filtrum. Okay. Uh, can you please tell me how many, what are the parts of the parotid gland? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh... All right. Uh, you can get back to that later. Can you please tell me what is the blood supply of the parotid, the parotid gland? Parotid gland, it receives a uh, supply from the bran branches of the external carotid artery within the gland and venous, venous drainage to the regiment of the vein. Yes. Okay. Can you name a few structures which pass through the parotid gland? Yes. Uh, from outside, inside the fissure nerve and its branches, the regiment of the vein with its uh, uh, regiment of the vein formed by the maxillary vein, superficial temporal vein. The external character artery and its two terminal branches, the auricular temporal nerve, the parotid lymph nodes. All right, good. Can you please tell me what type of uh, parotid, what type of secretion to the parotid gland has? It is predominantly serous secretion. Okay, if there is a swelling or a lump in the parotid region, what are the differential diagnoses that you will keep in your mind? Uh, it could be infection parotitis or mums, it could be obstruction of the duct due yes. to calculus or the compression. It could be because of neoplasm, like hypermorphic adenoma, what things, it could be benign and malignant. Yes. Then it could be because of the deep parotid uh, lymph nodes enlargement. Okay, can you please tell me about the phrase syndrome? Yes, phrase syndrome, it is uh, a condition uh, which occurs due to the aberrant uh, regeneration of the parasympathetic uh, post-ganglionic parasympathetic uh, nerves uh, into the sympathetic nerves that supply the side glands of the skin. Here, due to, the, uh, due to this aberrant uh, regeneration during yes. salivary stimulation, uh, there is also sweating and flushing of the area of the skin that is supplied by the, uh, supplied by the sympathetic nerves. All right. Can you tell me about the parasympathetic ganglia, which supplies the parotid gland? The aortic ganglion. Okay. Can you please tell me uh, about the lymphatic drainage of the parotid gland? It drains into the uh, it drains into the superficial and deep parotid lymph nodes. Lymph nodes, all right. Can you please identify structure 33 here? That is the submandibular lymph node. Yes. Can you please tell me about the submandibular gland? What type of secretions yes, it, are secreted it, by it this? Has, it has a mixed secretion, the serous and mucus. Serous. It has okay. two parts, the superficial and deep part, yes. which is separated by the myelohyde muscle. Yes. And uh, Can you tell me the, the location uh, where submandibular duct opens? Yes, it, it opens at the floor of the mouth on the either side of the lingual. Uh, Okay, can you name few nerves 
Yes, can you mention few nerves which are at risk when you are doing a, when you are removing submandibular gland? Yes, the the three nerves, the, the marginal mandibular, the hypoglossal nerve, and the lingual nerve that are uh, damaged or injured during submandibular gland. Mm -hmm. Injury to hypoglossal yes. nerve will present uh, with what clinical features? Uh, hypoglossal nerve it can present with the 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 tongue will be deviated to yes. the affected side when the when it is protruded. Yes. Okay. Can you please tell me? Uh, right. If you can tell me, what are the muscles of? Have you? Studied this the muscles of mastication. Mm, yes. Or if you have read about the tongue, can you please tell me the nerve supply of the tongue? How tongue yes, is divided? Uh, 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 the... Yes. What are the muscles? It is. Uh, it is divided yes. into anterior two third and posterior one third. Yes. The muscles, uh, uh, the muscles of the tongue. Yes. It has uh, extrinsic and intrinsic muscles. Okay. Can you please tell? Mention them. Yes. It has uh, the. Uh, we have the palatoglossus, styloglossus, hyoglossus, yes. and uh, uh, the styloglossus is responsible for retraction. Uh, the others are responsible for protrusion of the tongue. Yes. What and are the extrinsic the, the, these muscles are all of the tongue? Silo, the extrinsic silo, muscles silo, of the genu, 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 genu. Okay. Genu. Can you also please tell me the nerve supply of the tongue? The motor supply, it is uh, by the hypoglossal nerve, except for the palatoglossus. Yes. Which is supplied by the Vegas. The injured branch of the Vegas nerve. Yes. Okay. Can you please tell me how the case is distributed on the tongue? Uh, the anterior to third, uh, the general sensation is by the lingual nerve, and the special sensation, this sensation is by the quadrant in the branch of fissure nerve. Posture okay. one third is both the, both the general and this sensation by the glossopharyngeal nerve. Okay, once we are talking about the facial nerve, can you please tell me how would you differentiate if the facial nerve injury or palsy is upper motor neuron lesion or lower motor neuron lesion? Yes, if it is the upper motor neuron lesion, only the lower half of the face will be involved. And if it is the lower motor neuron, the whole yes. one side of the face is involved. Okay, good. Uh, one last question. Right, if you can identify the structures, we've done this yesterday, some of it. If you can identify the structures in the first in the left-hand side picture and then on the right-hand side. From A, this is A, if you can identify. Is the superthyroid artery. B. B is the phrenic nerve, right phrenic nerve. C. C is the uh, uh, external carotid artery. D. D is the left brachycephalic uh, vein. Or clavicle, maybe. Okay, E. E is the isthmus of the thyroid. Yes. Thyroid gland. Uh, there is no F. And G. D is the inferior thyroid artery. Okay, if you can please quickly identify the structures from A to F on the right hand side. A is? A is the... A is... Small, small, small. Which muscle is it supplying? It's supplying the pectoral... Subclavius. Pectoral... <clears throat> Subclavius. Okay, what is B? Supraclavicular nerve. B? B is the B is the omohyoid superior value of omohyoid. C is the sternohyoid. Sterno 
D. D is the clavicular head, and the E is the external head of sternal clavicular mastitis. Yes. Then yes. F is the internal left internal jugular vein. Good. Right. Good. Dr. Kuldeep, you knew all of these, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Good.